Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're gonna to do a 30 minute follow along cardio circuit. You don't need any equipment for this. We're not even gonna warm up. We're just gonna hit right into the first round and we're gonna kind of learn as you go. We'll use the first round as sort of an introductory thing. Now, cardio is good for you. You can normally step on some sort of machine and just do that for a half hour instead. But what we're gonna get out of the cardio circuit that you won't get out of doing the machine stuff is we're gonna take our joints through a longer range of motion, promoting some loose and hopefully turning this not only cardio workout into an also recovery and mobility promoting workout. So let me get the timer set up and we'll start going. All right, timer started. First one is the rear foot elevated split squat. This is kind of the advanced version. If you need something easier, keep both feet on the ground or even balance yourself something like this. It's just one foot forward, one foot back and I'm doing an elevator kind of motion, straight down and straight up. I'm gonna try to increase the challenge here and I'm not using my hand to balance. And we're just gonna go, we're not gonna switch halfway on this one. We're just gonna go all on one leg. Take a little break if you need it. I mean, since we didn't warm up, it's easy to kind of like, it's almost, I would almost say gas out though. I'm not gonna be totally exhausted after this, but you feel a lot of burn, right? You don't want that to overtake you on the first round. <laughs> it's okay to use your hands for balance and rest. Okay, so 15 seconds off. We're going for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Let's switch legs and we'll go straight into that one next. If you need more of a challenge on this one, two, one, and go. If you need more of a challenge on this one, it's actually pretty easy. Just hold some weight. That's probably the best way to do it. I suppose you could do some crazy stuff like jumping on each rep, but this is just a normal cardio workout. This is not a high intensity interval workout. Remember straight down, straight up, just like an elevator should feel this quad working. If you feel a lot in the back quad, try to shift more weight onto the front leg. And five seconds. Three, two, one. Hand rest, okay, that's the first two. Next one is fast mountain climbers. So we're gonna go in a push up position. I'm gonna try not to hit my chair here. We're going to set up in a plank, pull the belly button up, and then you're just running your feet like this. Okay. If it's too easy, you can speed up. And if it's too hard, you can do something a little more stepwise like this. And if that's too hard, you just take a break in the middle of the set, put your knees down and that's okay. Try to stay nice and long from head to tail. And rest. All right. Okay, so that's three. Next one, fourth one. Bent over, one arm, reverse fly. So I'm gonna do an RDL, like I'm taking a bow, like this. And I'm just gonna bring hands forward and then out to the side. One at a time, keep the arms straight. You should feel a little squeeze in your upper back between your shoulder blades. If you get that, pretty confident you're doing it well. Just try to make sure you're not shifting the load onto your low back. You wanna keep reaching actively through your heels into the ground. And that'll promote some hamstring and glute stabilization. No need to rush and rest. All right, fifth one. We're gonna do a little bit more jumping around, some jumping jacks. Just find a space, make sure you're not gonna hit your hands anywhere. Three, two, and go. Doesn't have to be a really long arc. 
Keep your elbow bent to about 90 degrees. And just try to be on the ground for as little time as possible. Doing great, five seconds. And rest. All right, that burns these calves real bad. Last one is the groiner to overhead reach. I'm gonna come back into the push-up position. I'm gonna bring a foot up, keep my knee inside my elbows, and then I'm gonna reach up towards the sky like that. And I just alternate sides. Making sure when I bring my knee up, I'm trying not to crunch my whole back, but I am trying to pull my belly button up towards the sky. Nice skinny exhale. This one can be tough. So if it's too tough, take a break in the middle of the set. You can try to, if it's close to the end of the set, you can try to just hold the plank or even just don't do the arms, just do the legs. And that's totally okay. All right, one round down, starting over. So we're back to the split squat where the rear foot elevated split squat. Three, I think we go left leg two, first. One. Okay. And ooh, don't fall. Straight down, get your balance slants. You're on camera. This is embarrassing. And now as we loosen up, it would be good to try to get that back knee all the way to the ground. This is a pretty high elevation for me, even though I am short. If my chair is higher than this chair, I'm probably not gonna get that back knee to the ground. But this gives me a good stretch in that front hip. Ooh, and relax. All right. One down, switching sides. Three, two, one. And same thing. Big thing on this one, if you're looking at yourself from the front, <laughs> try to save you. Uh, we don't want the knee inside the line made by the hip and foot, and we don't want the knee outside the line made by the hip and foot. We want it directly in line. I like to put the top of my foot on that back leg or the back support. You can use a bench if you got a whole gym available. Chairs work nice at home. Three, Coffee two, table, maybe. Couch. And good. All right. Two down. Next one. Back to the fast mountain climber. Three, two, one. Okay. And go. My glasses like to slide off when I start sweating. <laughs> Big thing on this one is you don't want to shrug because we don't want to activate your neck. Instead, you want to try to hold yourself here with your armpits. I'm pushing through here, sides of my rib cage, just kind of like underneath the armpit. And that will stabilize me. If I can get my belly button pulled up towards the ceiling, then the abs will work with the armpits. Three, two, one. And rest. Oh, that one's tough for me. All right. Next one's a bent over one arm reverse fly. Alternating sides. Three, We're gonna need to take two, these glasses one. off. RDL, one arm back. I'm just gonna keep looking forward 
the whole time here. If you're feeling this a lot in your back and you just can't get the uh, pressure in your heels, try a alternating toe touch. Reach through the heels the whole time. And that should help you loosen up your hips a bit so that the back doesn't have to take over. Three, two, one, stop. And rest. Nice. All right, fifth one, jumping jacks. Whew. And go. Remember, elbows at 90. <sighs> Try to be on the ground for as little time as possible. You want to be light as a feather on this one. Quick feet. <sighs> Halfway. Last one in round two is the groiner to overhead reach. Remember, if this one's too hard, just do the legs. And you can even just hold for half time and then switch sides halfway. Glasses. Oh, they're not going to stay on. Now I've been kind of taking it easy on y'all. It's really important to try to breathe through your nose the whole time. Even out the nose, if possible. My allergies make that really tough, but once you start breathing through your mouth, <sighs> to talk like if you're <laughs> leading the class, uh, once you start breathing through your mouth, it stiffens up your neck and rest. Two down, three to go. So for these next three rounds, your fatigue is going to start accumulating and it's going to be harder and harder. It's okay to go slower. We want your heart rate above 120, but about below 150. Back to the rear foot elevated split squat. Gentle reminder to myself to try to go lower. You'll feel better afterwards. You just get a much better hip stretch on this front leg. If you're feeling a lot of the back quad, you're using it too much. <sighs> Try to unweight it, shift more of the weight onto the front leg. Switch sides. Right leg next. Three, two, one. And go. And if we're going through this and it's just too hard, like you can't, can't stop feeling that back leg burning, and it's okay to regress it. You can put both feet down. Do the same motion. It'll just limit your range and help with your balance a bit. Three, two, one. And rest. Nice job. Okay. Back to the fast mountain climber. Or if that's too hard, slow mountain climber. Maybe move your glasses so they don't poke you in the eye. Remember, you're holding with the armpits, keeping the head relaxed, neck relaxed. 
And we're trying to breathe through the nose. so hard for me oh man all right standing up back to the bent over Sweet. one arm reverse fly one. Go. Here. remember breathing through the nose you want to feel between the shoulder blades but not above them you want to feel the legs but not the low back Try to get a nice squeeze in the upper back. Three, two, one, stop. And rest. All right. Whew. Wet is tickling. Whoa. Back to the jumping jacks. If jumping jacks are getting hard on you, Sweet. you can just jog in place too. That's fine. Okay. And go. <laughs> you hear a lot of squeaking. It's only gonna get worse. Remember, breathe through the nose. Five seconds. Last one in the round. Groiner to overhead reach. Whew. Three, two, one. If this one's hard on your wrist to keep your palms flat, you need to Definitely prioritize some shoulder mobility work. Stuff like this should loosen it up, but it might be too uncomfortable if you spend a lot of time on the computer. In which case you can go on to fists. You might get a little carpet burn if you're on the carpet, but it should be okay. And rest. All right, so. Oh, I'm tired. We're over the hump. We got three down, two to go. Back to the three, split squat. Two, Left leg forward and down. Yeah, that burns. <laughs> this one's tough. This is getting me. Maybe I'm just tired today. Which is why we need to do this. One. Need the recovery, All right? Switch sides. <sighs> 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 
Remember, if this is tough, don't be a hero. Slow down, it's totally fine. We don't want this to be a tough workout. This has to be a low to moderate intensity workout. Because otherwise we don't get the recovery benefits <coughs> benefits from it. Nice. Whew. Starting to burn. <laughs> All right, mountain climbers. My nemesis. I'll be really happy when these are over. <laughs> and go. Yeah, I'm just dripping now. <laughs> Bent over, one arm reverse flies. Feel it in the legs. And then one thing I haven't been a stickler about is you gotta keep your hips still as the shoulders turn. Cause then you actually twist through your torso rather than just turning your hips, which is not what we want. We wanna keep the hips still and let the shoulders stay loose. Three, two, one, stop. Nice, okay. Whew. Jumping jacks are next. I just did kind of a heavy bench press workout yesterday. And I think that's why this is so tough. I'm really stiff in my torso. Halfway, remember if this is hard, you can run in place like this. Three, two, one, stop. Nice. All right, and then groiner to overhead reach. Four down, one to go. Doing great, just one more round. One more of every exercise here. Three, two, one. You got it. Okay. Let's go. Last chance, if you're uh, not feeling that tired, you can definitely ramp up the pace. I hope though, 
by now you, you kind of realize like you don't really need equipment for something like this. It's just unnecessary. It's a recovery workout, right? Equipment's good for building strength because you need the weights to overcome the resistance. But there's so much you can do with body weight for cardio and even kind of for strength and rest. All right, we're switching sides. Woo. Doing great, last one of these. Two, one, Remember, knee stays in line with the hip and foot, hip and ankle. Whew. Three, two, one. And rest. All right, my nemesis. Ooh, a mountain climber. Two down, four to go. This is our fifth and final round, remember. One. Try to keep breathing through the nose. Neck stays relaxed. We're using the armpits. If you kick your neck on, that's gonna compress your wrists. I really shouldn't be talking. I'm so tired. And rest. That was like max effort. Oh my goodness. All right. No time for glasses. We're standing up. We got the bent over, one arm, reverse fly. Remember, push through the heels the whole time. Hips stay still. Jacks, is that next? I'm blacking out. <laughs> Not really, if you're dizzy, sit down, rest. Lay down, maybe. Okay. Jumping jacks. We're almost there. Last one. Yeah. <laughs> Feet are too slippery. Groiner to overhead reach. Last one.
and rest. Oh. Nice work. All right, I'm feeling good. Let's uh, call it there. If you need to cool down, go just go walk around a little bit. You could prepare a protein heavy meal. That'd be really good for retaining your muscle. Uh, so think about that as post-workout nutrition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the workout, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified when I release new videos. If you need something else to do, I've got some circuits for total body flexibility. I'll link those here somewhere.